What are you looking at? Remember that place Barry invited us to this weekend? I'm just checking up on it. Uh, Squeeze Island. Uh, where exactly was that again? North Queensland, in the Gulf of Carpentaria. About 30 k's off the mainland, direct north of Burketown. Gee, it doesn't look very big. Oh, it's about seven kilometres long and a k and a half wide. Looks unspoiled. Yeah, most of the island is Aboriginal freehold, but there's a lodge on an old town site. Okay, so what's the attraction? Okay, listen, I think there may be something here for you. Swears Island has miles of golden beaches, blue waters and a wealth of history. And? Oh, and apparently it's a fisherman's paradise. The island's surrounded by acres of rock reef. Well, wait a minute, go back. What did you say before? What, the golden beaches? No. Uh, the history. No, 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 the fishing. Oh, the number one attraction to visitors is the fantastic fishing. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Christian's hooked something there. We've, we've no sooner stopped. Dropped the lures and he's, he's under something already. Got a mackerel, a little mackerel. Now tell me some more. Well, the island's surrounded by thousands of acres of reef, mostly rock but with some coral, much of which has never seen a fishing line. You can fish from the beach or on the reefs from your boat. They cater for keen fishing groups and families. You can visit just for the day or stay as long as you like. You can drop in for morning tea and a swim or stay for a week. Sounds great. There's also bird watching and bush walking. No, 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 no. Go back to the fishing. What sort of fish are we talking about? Well, there's sweetlip, cod, coral trout, parrotfish and stripey, and with a little bit of luck, red emperor and sea perch. Oh, beautiful. And in winter there's the opportunity of hooking Spanish mackerel or a tuna. I'm there. Tell me more. Well, you can bring your own rods if you wish, but hand lines, hooks and sinkers are supplied with the boat, and a range of lures is also available for sale at the lodge. Gee, that sounds pretty good. So if you're carrying too much gear, what does it say about the use of a boat? Well, it says here that the boats provided a 4.6 metre aluminium catamarans powered by reliable 40 horsepower Yamaha outboards and are yours to use for your stay. The boats are equipped with rod holders and echo sounders too. It seems to me that weather permitting, you can fish from daylight till dark. Okay, tell me how I get there. Most guests arrive by private or charter aircraft. The airstrip is capable of taking most single and twin engine aircraft up to 10 seats. There's a phone number here to call if you need to make some inquiries. Apparently it's a very popular spot for pilots who like to fish and airstrip dimensions and GPS coordinates are all here. Well, Barry's been there before, he knows his way. Okay, let's think about this. Before I pack my Hawaiian shirt and thongs, what's the weather gonna be like? The average daily maximum temperature ranges from 35 in December down to 24 in June and July, although it says here the most pleasant times to visit the Gulf Country are from late March until mid-October. That's when the lodge is open. The southeast winds can sometimes blow up to 25 knots in the morning and drop off to dead calm in the afternoon. Maybe we should pack a warm jacket and jeans just in case it gets cold at night. Sounds like a great idea. Looks like I might have to take the camera too. Of course. Can't catch the big one without the evidence, can we? Oh yeah, that too. I was thinking more of the bird life. It says here there are over a hundred different bird species on the island. Birds. Rose-crowned fruit doves, which are residents, bush stone curlews mingle with the guests in the dining area at night, and bustards often wander in for breakfast. You're in a fishing paradise and you want to take photos of birds. Oh wow! From late August, the awesome morning glory clouds are often seen rolling over the island. These spectacular formations are being studied by scientists from all over the world. More photo opportunities there too, I reckon. Can we get back to the fishing stuff? Oh, all right then. There is a filleting station on the beach with stainless steel benches and sinks with fresh water where you can clean and fillet your catch. Knives and sharpening stones are provided and there are also plastic bags and ID tags supplied so you can mark your catch then snap freeze it into blocks ready to pack in your esky for the trip home. Or your catch can be cooked in the resort kitchen. Okay, say no more. What's the cost? Well, of course there's getting there. Well, that's covered. Barry's going to take us. Price is per person per night. Includes all meals, accommodation and boats. There is a licensed bar with mainland prices, so apart from accommodation and drink money, the only thing setting us back is how long it takes us to pack our bags. Ha! Yeah, let's go!
Okay, Swears Island, see you soon. Okay, Swears Island, see you soon.